Hey, what's going on everybody? Um, I'm trying to help entrepreneurs today. I want you to be better at sales. Marketing is all about getting leads. Sales is once you get their contact info, how does that work? I work with too many people that struggle with sales. Sales is hard, it's uncomfortable. Most people don't have enough reps. I used to work in retail. I've also been in B2B sales. I've done thousands and thousands of sales and I've gotten some of the best training out there. Um, I grew up with my dad being one of the best salespeople you could ever engage with. And sales is not about closing, it's about being a guide and helping people become better consumers and then conveying your value propositions that are pain points, desires, or whatever it is for those clients. So here's what happens. You're gonna ask questions, you're gonna present, and when you present in a sales, you need to remember something. You get done talking a lot and <clears throat> this can happen. You present, you present, pr you present, and you think you've just landed this great point, and all of a sudden you find yourself sitting there, and they're just like, because there's no natural follow-up question. So anytime you present, you wanna use a follow-up question, right? And what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna lead, lead them and trap them. So if you do a presentation and you follow up with a question of, isn't this important to you? Or is, that can really trap them. I've found a couple of questions that I really like to do. If I ever present, you wanna find out their most authentic reaction to it. <laughs> and, and I got trained in this and I think it's super valuable. So when you're done presenting, you go like this, you say, all right, thoughts? Reactions? <laughs> thoughts? So what are your thoughts? So as I say all that, you have any thoughts, reactions? What do you think? What are you thinking? Any thoughts, reactions? Because you don't even want to hear what they think. Oh yeah, I think you're right. You want to know, is it important to them? You want to know, did that connect with you? So thoughts, reactions? And then hear what they say. Um because that post presentation time is such a weird time. Now, here's what I would add, I'll just end with this real quick. I wanna go fast because I realize YouTube videos get long when it's a talking head. You wanna balance moving the ball down the field professionally with connecting personally and authentically. You need to, when you connect, share a little bit about yourself, find common ground. Where do they grow up? Where do they live now? Um, one way that you can kind of navigate the whole, some people are single and they don't wanna be, some people are, not single and they, or they're single now and they got divorced and it's weird. I always ask people, I kind of, after I ask a couple questions, usually about where do they, where are they from, where do they live? You know, you've been here for a while, you, you lived here for a while, just location, weather, super. And then you move into more intimacy. One step is, is finding out what their life looks like, right? And I'll ask this question, I'll just say, so, so what does your life look like? You get cats, dogs, goldfish, kids, what do you got? What does life look like for you? And what that does is it gives, um, you know, the cat lady permission to just be like, no, no one, I, I'm unmarried. I have no kids. I don't even have friends. I do have a cat to the dog, to the goldfish, to the person with a bunch of kids, to a wife, to the divorced person, whatever that looks like. If you just frame that, it's kind of corny, but like, yeah, so, so what does life look like for you? You got dogs, cats, kids, and then don't say anything and they will inherently, yeah, you know, I, uh, I'm a student right now and all I do is go to school. <laughs> that could be a really easy uh, way for you to move. But remember, you wanna move from real broad connecting questions into more intimacy and then learn the pivot between, it shouldn't just be like all personal connection and then on to professional, right? I think it's really good to do a little bit of back and forth. You do need to have just sections of where it's more personal connection, more professional, moving the ball down the field, which is a football analogy, and back to connection again. I think that's really important, but make sure that you're doing those two things because all things being equal, people are gonna buy from people that they like. And the only people that are likable are those that are humble enough to find out the true stories about others, empathize with them, and connect with them. So don't neglect your connecting with people, um, but also don't, don't overdo that because it, can feel weird really quick. But I'm telling you, when you're presenting 
and you're asking broad questions, asking qualifying questions, that can be so great. And I hope that's helpful, guys. Get good at sales. Practice.